Veritas Appliance Management has two key components, the Appliance Management Server, abbreviated as AMS, and the Appliance Management Agent, also known as AMA. Let's see how to set up the AMS. First, log on to NetBackup Appliance Clish. In this scenario, we have the appliance running NetBackup Appliance version 3.1.2, which we will set up as the AMS. Before setting up the AMS, the appliance should be role configured to be either a master or media server. Once in the Clish, go to Appliance, then Management, then Server. For appliance management, we have created a new role, AMS, which can be granted to any LDAP, AD, or local user of the appliance. The AMS role gives exclusive rights to the user to access manageability functions. In this scenario, we will create a local user. We will call this local user as AMS user. To allow this user to access Veritas Appliance Management, we will need to grant the AMS role to this user. To do that, we will navigate to the authorization menu. We can see that there is a new role present, which is called AMS. Let's grant the AMS role to AMS user. As a result, AMS user can access the Veritas Appliance Management GUI. Now that we have set up an AMS and created an AMS user, we can use the NBA web UI to log into the appliance management. Note that this is the same link as NBA web UI, which redirects you to the appropriate UI based on the username and role that they have. For example, if I were to enter NBA admin credentials here, it will take me to the NBA web UI. By entering the AMS user credentials, it will take me to the new management UI. Let's log in using the AMS user we just created. Once you are on the home screen, you can see the AMS entry and its information. The Add button will now allow you to add appliances as agents to this AMS. When you click on the Add button, you will be taken to the Add Appliance page. This is where you will find the access key which can be used to add appliances as agents. You can also regenerate this key whenever you deem it necessary. Don't worry about already registered appliances when you regenerate the key. It will not affect already registered appliances. This key is only used to establish secure communication during registration. Access key does not expire, but you could regenerate the access key whenever you deem it necessary to do so. Regenerating the access key invalidates the previous access key. Once you copy the key, you will have to log on to Clish of every appliance that you want to add as AMA and run the command from the appliance menu. After registering the appliances, they will start showing up on the homepage. In the next video, we will see how to add an AMA to an AMS.